Let me show you how to install Kodi 17.4 plus maintenance and tools for Windows 10 right now. Hey, happy doing everyone. Once again, this is Dario from MediaPax with MediaPax Max Tech Real and Simple. And if this is the first time in the channel, you see a little square right there, the M. Click on it right now and then you become part of Media Box CNT. Like I said in the beginning, let me show you how to install Kodi 17.4 in Windows 10. And what is nice about this video too, I'm going to show you how to maintain it. So how you maintain it? I'm going to give you a few tips and a few tools, nice tools. We're going to maintain, we're going to fix the buffer. You do this once and then you have your Kodi machine running beautiful. The extra two, we have our own repo. That is mediaboxent.com forward slash repo. Okay, and it's always there, okay, because we run it only nice tools. They always will be there. We know lately that a lot of repo going up and down. This one, you can come back anytime, will always be there. So let me show you right now. All right, so let's open the browser, okay, and then we're going to go to Kodi.tv. This is the first thing. This is a welcome screen, okay. So right over here, we click download, pretty simple. We scan down until you see the windows. We click on it and we're gonna do the latest version. Now, if you want to use the store window, go ahead, use the store. In my case, I like to go and use the latest installation. So I'm gonna click here, it's only 32 bit. If you're running Windows 64, no problem. Just download the 32 version. There is no such 64, okay? It's gonna work fine in the system. So we're gonna go download. Right over here, we're going to download the latest version. Okay, so as you see here, today it shows the uh, 24th September. No worry. If you see this video later on, maybe the date will change. So we're going to click the first one and the list. Okay. We're going to save it. You're going to save it in whatever location. In my case, I'm going to check execute it right from the browser. I go here. We're going to wait until this finish downloading, and then we're going to execute it. Okay, so it finished downloading. I'm going to execute it right from the browser. And right over here, we got the first walk on the screen. So when you type yes, agree to a license, next, next, and next. Okay, so the installation is done. To be more productive, I just edit the video. I'm going to have to go in and see the whole installation. So we're going to click right there. Let's run it for the first time. Okay, so we got Cody running for the first time. And let me show you something. In case you guys want to run a Windows mode, not a full screen. Okay, this is a way to do it. You're going to go all the way up by the wheel, right there. You're going to click on it. Right there. Settings. Display mode. And right over here, you're going to change this to Windows mode. Okay. By default, it's going to start a full screen. So you just go there, and then now you can change your Windows mode in case you want to have the screen, do the search, put an air on. So maybe you want in a Windows mode, and you always you can click right over here, and you get a full screen. It will run the top. We don't see that. Let me see if I can show you. Bring it down. Let me see. We'll show you all that. Yes, right there. See, you click over here, and then click it will automatically go to full screen. So let me bring this up. Okay, the next thing you need to change if you guys planning to. It third party items not official from the Kodi site. You need to turn on unknown source. So we're gonna go right over here, unknown source, and we turn it on. We say yes. And now you can install any items you may like. Okay, this is open for everyone now. All right. That's it. I think that's the only thing we need to do right over here. You got the audio setting there. We're going to leave it as default display. You know that already. So we go right in the main screen. So you guys, at this point, you got Cody running. Now, let's main in Cody. So we're going to add a few things. If you need to add an error, and these are the, pr the process you need to do. Okay, so let me show you, and you will learn now this way to install all the items. Okay, so we're going to go into File Manager. Okay, we're going to add source first. Okay, so like I said before, you're going to add my site, so HTTP, okay, to forward slash, and then you're going to type media, 
box ent.com forward slash repo forward slash okay we put okay and here we're going to call it media media box ent we put okay we put okay no errors if you show you anything else then you type something wrong you misspelling okay so we're fine we edit now we're going to go we're going to escape press escape key in the keyboard one time two times and you are right in the main screen right over here we're going to we're going to go all the way down to download hit enter at that point go up to the square box hit enter okay and we are going to install it from a zip file right there next we go back again we can install the pressure starter only use that if you want to reset the whole cody and start from zero you have to do this again okay you have to install every errand all right so that's in case of emergency if you want to clean your cody that's the way to do it and the next one okay again the script okay root maintenance we're going to click on it we wait a little bit right there from there we're going to go right to main screen you're going to hit two times the escape key in the keyboard okay we got right in the main menu and here we got the three errands okay so we got the fresh star you're going to click on it and you're going to reset it if you want we're not going to do this but if you want to do it you can do any time and stuff from scratch in case you put too many items you want to do a refresh star okay but then you have to uh, go back and restore all right again the advanced settings of the runs maintenance okay advanced settings i'm sorry the okay so the run maintenance we're going to start Sometimes when you start it the first time, maybe the screen is a blue screen. Nothing happened. Just escape once and return to the to the program. And we're gonna go to straight to maintenance. Okay, right there. And right there, we're gonna clean the cache. We click on it. We say yes. And clean. Okay. Here, if you got any, when you start watching movies and you see those thumbnails, too many will collect after a while. You click yes. To clean, give me an error. Nothing there. Okay. Now packages all right now you see here finds 10 packages 10 packages every time you going to turn Cody on and it's a new errand a new update it's going to get this package and there are small zip files maybe after a month you will have i don't know 100 or 20 or 10 depends so you're going to click on it you say yes in this case and now delete all the packages okay so Execute this program maybe like a once a month or I think it once a month is good to do it. It depends how many times you execute Cody. But you run this once a month, you'll be okay and it will delete all the package and anything. You execute this as simple once a month just to remember and you're done. Okay. Now the next we're gonna set up the settings again. These are gonna be the basic settings. I know some people's gonna say, Oh Dario, there is a uh, depends on the memory, depends on this. I understand all that, but I try to make a simple understand video everyone can use it and this is the standard settings okay you put the settings you'll be okay no matter what okay so we're going to go into uh at the settings we're going to go all the way down to network settings okay and right over there again network settings okay and here we're going to make some changes okay so we're going to change first we're going to click here okay change the buffer size so right over here we're going to delete this and we're going to tap this number okay this is standard number okay right there make sure it's not space okay this is once done we're going to click ok with the mouse all right now buffer mode we're going to select the number one and refactor we're going to set it to four okay done that's it now right within the two dots we go up by pressing the enter key enter key again we go all the way up okay empty key again and right over here we're going to write the file that's it it's done that's it we go now we get the skip key two times all right and that's it perfect so you guys 
We did event settings, okay? So now you freeze your buffer, any problems. So already done, did this once. Uh, run maintenance, run this once a month, you'll be okay, and Windows is perfect once a week. And only run that if you feel you want to start it again from fresh. Remember, if you secure that, you delete everything, and then you have to download again the run maintenance and event settings. So what do you think? I'm sure it's already running, and everything's running beautiful. Is it that real? Um, or how about if I want to put some more items, some, see some live TV, movies, or I don't know, many shows. Okay, the installation of this video is only to do a clean one, a fresh install. So right below the video, I'm going to give you some links where there's plenty of add-ons you can install right after this. Bye.